Hi, and welcome to The Signature Show. I'm Annika Chapin, Signature's Director of Artistic Development. This month, we begin performances for the world premiere musical, Private Jones. This is a project that is near and dear to my heart. When Artistic Director Matthew Gardner interviewed me for my position at Signature two years ago, he asked me if there was a new musical that really excited me. My first answer was Private Jones, a piece that has blown me away since the first time I encountered it. Private Jones tells the story of a deaf Welsh sniper in World War I. After losing his hearing, Gomer Jones is unable to enlist, but he fakes his way into a battalion alongside a group of colorful misfit trainees. Featuring a cast of hearing, deaf, and hard of hearing actors, Private Jones is a thrilling musical experience unlike anything you've seen before. Here are the show's cast and creative team to give you a behind the scenes look at the process of creating this one of a kind musical. Hi, behind the scenes. Private Jones is about a deaf Welsh sniper in World War I. He has recently lost his hearing, so he speaks and he reads lips, and he's able to fake his way into the army. When he finds out about the war, he's eager to join. He knows he can participate, um, but of course he's not allowed because he's deaf. And he's looking for community and something to prove his worth. To tell our story, we have a cast and a creative and design team made of hearing, deaf, and hard of hearing artists. Gomer is really close to me, personally. I was born hard of hearing, and I'm also someone that was mainstreamed. I wasn't introduced to deaf culture until much later, just like Gomer. I'm also a singer and a musician. And so to use all of these parts of my life into one role is so special, and I'm so grateful for that. I stumbled upon this article about deaf war stories in World War I, British Isle stories, and there were two sentences about Gomer Jones, who was a sharpshooter, apparently he was well-liked. That was kind of the seed of the idea, like I, I just, my brain started kind of exploding with theatrical possibility, like how would you theatricalize a soldier's war experience when they can't hear the bullets, when they can't hear the explosions, what does that feel like, and then how do you put that up on the stage? Could I have my Foley artists from the last sniping scene? Cock. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, schnott, crank. I think it's really exciting to see how his dream has become a reality for so many people. There are so many cool, powerful, and human experiences that are encapsulated in this tightly wrapped package that is Private Jones. I, I love coming to the rehearsal room. I love coming to the Signature Theater and like being with this cast of actors and creative team. It's a real fun environment. The room is so full of laughter and love. But then the, the joke, always, right, is that the audience thinks something else is happening. Like, yeah. They think I'm like honoring this conversation. Right. There's also a little bit of like, like, I, what? Your hand yeah. is maybe not the cleanest. Oh! Maybe. I also put, yeah. put that in. Put that in. I keep thinking about how sad I am that this show is going to close and it hasn't even opened. <laughs> it's one of the best rehearsal rooms I've ever been in. I'm just, I'm, I'm so blessed to know these people and also to be so silly and fun with this show. I, I can't stress enough how blessed I am to be in that room. The thing that I'm most excited about is for the audiences to see it. I look forward to seeing what the response will be from the audience and the relationship that they build with this production. So, don't you capturing that? <laughs> Hi, I'm George Acevedo, Signature's casting director and manager of artistic programs. Part of the joy of casting productions at Signature is getting to know all of the wonderful artists that work in our building. Private Jones has introduced us to five incredible deaf and hard of hearing artists. So we thought we'd introduce them to you. Here's a little segment we like to call Getting to Know You. Roll it. Hi, I'm Dickie Drew Hartz. But you can call me Dickie for short. My sign name looks like this. And I play Henry. In BSL, it looks like this. 
My name is Amelia Hensley. My sign name looks like this. And my role is that I'm part of the ensemble and I'm also the storyteller. Hi, my name is Nicholas Horman and my role is a swing in the ensemble. My name is Johnny Link and I play Gomer Jones in Private Jones. My name is Alexandria Wales and on this production of Private Jones, I'm the director of Artistic Sign Language, also known as the Dazzle. For this production, my position includes being a part of the creative team and also being a liaison between the different languages that we use in the show. In this show, we use American Sign Language, we have British Sign Language, and we also are exploring military-infused gestures. I'm really happy that Signature Theater is exploring and taking action so that every show will have captioning both open captions and dynamic captions, which are built into the show, that is really exciting too. I feel like in recent years, we've seen more deaf characters popping up here and there on stage. So we're starting to see that growth a little bit, but it's not enough. It's never going to be enough. I hope that in the future, I see more roles that are written for deaf people not just as tokenized one-liners, but roles that are complex, dense, challenging, and multi-layered. In this production, I'm able to focus on the story as a whole and how to best deliver it. That has made me feel extremely empowered in deciding how to portray my characters in the story. And I mean, this show is nuts. It's really nuts. It's fast paced too, and there are so many moving parts. We have such a great team to make that happen. And we support one another to make sure that we're all in sync. We're not just a group of individuals on the stage. We're truly an ensemble who has become a family. Most people don't understand that the, the deaf and hard of hearing experience is not black and white. You know, I, I'm so grateful that the world has been introduced to the culture, and now we're opening the doors a little bit wider to how much variety there is within the deaf experience. It's a mixed production of deaf and hearing cast, and they're all sharing one story. They're all embedded together as an ensemble, and I think that has just been a beautiful experience. In the future, I want to see more deaf actors and more deaf representation on creative teams. And also seeing more creative teams making work to include deaf actors. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the future brings for deaf actors in particular, and for deaf theater practitioners in the theater world. So the first musical that comes to mind is Rent, and the second would be Chicago. Oh, it would be a huge dream of mine to play Roxy Hart. You know, a gay man version, of course. Probably the laughing one, tilted to the side with the tears. I always get my makeup and hair ready before I arrive. Because I want to talk with my friends in the dressing room. If my hands are busy doing my hair or my makeup, I'm unable to sign. So I always show up ready to chat. I would pick Julie Andrews from The Sound of Music. Sondheim. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Just a pure genius. Marshall. This sign is definitely my favorite. Every time I sign it, I can feel it. I can feel the meaning as I produce it. It's important that you never associate a sign with just one English word. Don't do that. 
you have to think about the concept or the meaning of the sign. The sign I'm signing right now on my chest could mean inspire, it could mean overcome with feelings. It could mean, it could also mean joy. It could mean uplifting emotion, anything of that sort. Just as a helpful hint, you can't associate one English word with a sign, but that is my favorite sign. And the sign for rainbow that represents the LGBTQ community. Hi, I'm Matthew Gardner, Signature's Artistic Director. Last month, we closed our production of Ragtime, which ended up being the best-selling show in Signature Theater's history. Broadway and Signature favorite Matthew Scott joined the cast in the middle of the run to take on the role of father. This past year, Matthew released his solo album, The Jesus Year, A Letter From My Dad. Here with a new arrangement of Stephen Sondheim's Children Will Listen from the album are Matthew Scott, Vadim Feichner, Christopher Klumski, Perry Cowdery, Madeline Navis, and Amy Stennett-Smith. What do you leave to your child when you're dead? Only whatever you put in its head. Things that your father and mother had said, which were left to them too. Careful what you say. Careful the things you say. Children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see and learn. Children may not obey, but children will listen. Children will look to you for which way to turn, to learn what to be. Careful before you say, listen to me. Children will listen. Guide them, but step away. Children will glisten. Temper with what is true. And children will turn, if just to be free. Careful the tale you tell, that is the spell. Children will listen. Children.